In today's video, I will teach you how to use the radial gradient in Lightroom. Let's get started. The radial gradient in Lightroom is a powerful tool that lets you apply selective adjustments to specific areas of your photo in a natural, circular, or oval shape. It's perfect for drawing attention to a subject, creating vignettes, or making a subtle localized adjustment. And here's how to use it effectively. First, open Lightroom and switch to the Develop module. Then click on the radial gradient icon in the toolbar or press Shift-M on your keyboard. To draw the gradient, click and drag on your photo to create an ellipse. Then adjust the size and shape by dragging the edges or corners of the oval. And you can make it circular or elongated depending on your needs. And you can also reposition the gradient. You can move the oval by clicking and dragging the center point and place it over the area that you want to adjust. Feathering controls how soft or hard the edges of the gradients are. So use the feather slider in the panel on the right to adjust the transition. A higher feather value creates a smoother blend and a lower feather value makes the edge sharper. An optional step is inverting the mask. By default, adjustments are applied inside the oval to apply them outside the oval. Check the Invert Mask option in the Radial Gradient panel. After positioning the gradient, use the sliders in the Adjustment panel to make changes. Common adjustments include exposure to brighten or darken the selected area and contrast to add or reduce contrast for emphasis. You can also adjust the highlights and shadows to recover details or create depth. And you can adjust clarity to enhance or soften textures. And you can also tweak the temperature and tint sliders to warm up or cool down the selected area. Another optional step is adding multiple radial gradients. To add another radial gradient, click new on the top of the radial gradient panel and repeat the process and you can stack multiple gradients to fine-tune different areas of your photos. Now, press the backslash key to toggle between the original and edited version to see the impact of your adjustments. And you're done! If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.